Hey, how's it going, guys? This is Alan. Welcome to a brand new game on this channel. This game is called Midnight Scene. Now, before starting our game, I'm actually going to show you guys the settings because this might be one of the most beautiful uh, settings screen I have seen in this kind of games. So I just actually had to give it some credit because just take a look at there are a lot of language version as well, which is unbelievable to be honest. So you can change a lot of other things. I'm actually playing in medium quality at this moment you can also play in ultra graphics if you want but i don't know if my pc can support it because i have a really low end pc so i'm not exactly sure i'm going to start a game right away by the way the developer is called firing make sure you guys do support him please select a ui color you can change this at any more time in a setting i think i'm going for the pinkish one because that might be good to the eyes Detective Higgins, so this is a detective. I'm not exactly sure what kind of a game this one actually is going to be. I know for a fact that this is a visual novel game, but I don't know the concept of this game. And the character design looks really beautiful. He actually blinks. Oh wow. Wow. Just take a look at this game. One zero percent. Yeah, let's go with Mr. Mike. Mike Bishop. Close production. What exactly does that mean? It means I protect people. He, this game blinks as well. Are you a strat list? Ah, like a bodyguard. Uh, did they find this guy? Yes, like a bodyguard. Wow. Now that's something you don't hear very often. That must be so exciting. I bet you have some great stories to play story about my father. Oh, right. Um, um, I was I? Ah, yes. So, are you absolutely sure there is no one you can think of who would have wanted to hurt your father? Is it from me? Like I said, I haven't seen him or talked to him since I was a little kid. I can't even tell you what he looked like later on if anyone was after him. I see. That must have been hard for you and your mother being abandoned by him like that. And at such a young age too. You must have been very angry with him. I was. Hated his guards for it. Still do. But not enough to kill him if that's what you are implying. No, 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 no. Of course not. I was not implying that at all. Of course you are not a suspect. In that case, it's getting late and I have more important things to do. So if you don't mind. Oh, no, by all means. Thank you for coming in, Mr. Bishop. Please give me a call if anything else comes to mind. Sure. Don't hold your bed, jackass. <laughs> okay, this guy is definitely good looking, that's for sure. As well, if you see, notice an attractive woman waiting outside. Um, hmm, not bad at all. But first, with the sour face. I bet I could have put a smile on those pretty lips, huh? Unfortunately, I've got a lot of story about right now. Back at your apartment? What a waste of time. As if I didn't have enough on my mind already. You look at the eviction letter again. Sorry. So they are finally kicking me out of this place. I guess it was going to happen sooner or later. Half my life. I just can't seem to catch a break. I need a drink. Well, how's to you, old man? May you rot in hell. Okay, somebody's on the door. I honestly still cannot get over the fact that this guy actually or this character actually blinks, which is like really nice. It seems I can't even get shit faced in face. Yeah, yeah, calm down. You get up and walk towards the door. But as soon as you open it, a giant of a man forces himself in points and at a gun at you. Okay, I thought that this guy was kinda giant and this guy is actually taller than him. That's kinda funny. I'm going to ignore all this talking. Roslan wants his money. Of course, just what I needed. Look, I already told him, I just need a little more time. Thanks up. Either you pay right now. He made a single points his gun to you. I put a hole in you. Until does he know that uh, this is the this is the first time someone has pointed a gun at you. The countless hours of training make your body react almost instinctively. During dialogues, the mouse interaction may appear. When the mouse interaction icon pops up, move your mouse as indicated by the animation to advance the next scene. Ah, so that's a mini game. That's actually quite nice. Feels like I'm playing in PlayStation or something. Hold on, uh, relax, buddy. I'm just following orders. I wasn't going to shoot you, I sir. Tell Rustan he will get his money. You will just have to be patient a bit longer. Rustan is not known for his patience. I don't give a shit. Now get the F out of my apartment. This isn't over. Next time he'll just send more. Live! Okay, okay. Okay, I'm going to ignore this thing because that's a lot of talking. I actually want to know what brand he's actually drinking. Aurora. Okay, I might actually get this one for myself. And let's move on to our next part. I also need some pizza in this one. Okay, that is actually music as well. That's kind of nice. The next morning. Uh, you go out and walk up to the front door. So that is this girl. But before you can ring the bell, everyone wearing a maid outfit opens the door. Mr. Bishop? Yes, that's right, Mr. Maid. Follow me, please. Oh, okay. 
You follow her into what looks like a study where she asks you to take a seat. Miss Kane will be with you shortly. Please wait her. Alright, thank She leaves before you can finish your sentence. Someone got up on the wrong side of the bed this morning. Half an hour later. I like the game design so far. Like, it's actually really beautiful. Uh, nothing seems like uh, it's unprofessional or made by one person or something. Uh, well, this sounds like a really good game. Okay, she's the woman that we saw yesterday, Mr. Bishop. Miss Kane, she has some cards, that's for sure. If you would follow me, she makes the sound. You follow her inside, okay? Please accept my condolences. She responds to the hearing of coins. Thank you. Due to the circumstances surrounding his death, we are currently not allowed to leave the house without a police escort. However, our family may highly value privacy and the constant presence of the police is rather inconvenient. Yesterday, while discussing this with Detective Higgins, I expect that we feel safe within the mansion and don't require protection. Unfortunately, he was rather persistent. He just said, I hire a private security company if I'm unhappy with the current situation. I like where this guy is going. He also asked me why I hadn't contacted my stepson about this, who in his words is a security specialist after all. Wait, her stepson? Imagine my surprise when I find out my late husband has a son whom he neglected, he neglected to mention in nearly 25 years of marriage. Hold on a moment, are you implying that you are my stepmother? Okay, this is turning out to be really interesting. She stares at you blankly. That appears to be the case, yes. Is she for real? I guess it's not a surprise my father remarried, but still, this is not what I was expecting at all. Judging from the expression on your face, you are not aware of our existence either. No, not at all. I... wait, our? Yes, your father and I have three daughters. Oh, okay. Wait, so that means I have three sisters? Half sister. Was it a hint of annoyance in her voice? But yes, you do. You feel like your whole world has just been turned upside down. Okay, this game has some really cool plot at this point. I understand this is a lot to take in. No kidding. However, I would like to offer you a job nonetheless. So much for being welcomed into the family. You would be required to escort my daughters to their club practices and accompany me to board meetings. Other than that, you are free to do as you please so long as you are available when I call on you. Of course, this also means that you would have to stay at the mansion until this whole thing blows over. I, I don't know why I think I need some time to resolve this. Besides, as a professional bodyguard, it would be unethical to accept a contract protection or a rating for someone with whom I have a personal relationship. I understand that, and I appreciate your professionalism. However, I'm sure you can make an exception in this case. The only reason I want to hire you is to keep Detective Higgins off my back. It will most likely be the easiest job you have ever had. Also, it will give you the chance to get to know your half sisters. Again, her expression changes, but you can't quite read if it's anger, annoyance, or something else. I'm sorry, I just don't. I'm going to ignore. 100,000? She's gonna pay? Dude, can I please uh, apply for this job? I need money. <laughs> 100,000 is a really big number. I can actually just uh, go to Cuba and settle there. Okay, so I guess you're going to get into that job. Yes, you're going to, but you can respect your business. Understood? Okay, I'm fashy. If you make my girls feel uncomfortable in any way, I'll fire you without hesitation. What? Now she's just pushing it. I cannot agree to that, can I? Then again, 100,000 is a lot of money. Do you accept these terms? It's not like I have anything to lose. In fact, this may be my only chance to get out of this mess I am in. I do. Outstanding. I knew we would be able to reach an agreement. Rebecca. Okay, so this is one of the maid. Actually, hold on. I actually want to see if she blinks as well. I haven't actually checked it out. Do you blink? She is moving. Yep, she blinks. I also want to see the maid. Okay, these are the three daughters. Okay, they have different style. Okay, I like this game. This game is going to get uh, 10 out of 10 from me. Okay, maybe 9 out of 10 because I actually want to see what we can find in the future. She is definitely the straightish, not so simple looking girl. She is kind of simple looking girl and this is kind of naive looking. I think that's what I should say. So this is Marilyn, Mike, this is my youngest daughter, Olivia. Okay, sorry, this is Olivia. It seems so, I'm still processing it myself. That is so cool! I actually have a big brother. I can't wait to get to know you. This is contagious and you can help but smile. I look forward to that as well, Olivia. And this is Annabelle, my middle daughter. So, um, it's a pleasure to meet you. Annabelle is kidding, is shy and reserved. She seems hesitant, but there is a glimmer of curiosity in her eyes. It's nice to meet you too, Annabelle. Lastly, this is Victoria, my eldest daughter. Definitely the sassy looking girl. Seriously, mom, joins scale and silent stranger shows up claiming to be his son. She calls her father by his first name, that's interesting. That's enough. Don't you think this is all a, all a bit too much of a coincidence? I said that's enough, Victoria. But mom, can't you see? He's just after our money. Please tell me you don't believe. Marion's hand slams on her desk and startling everyone in the room. Enough. The three girls instantly lower their heads and nervously study the floor. Marion's voice drops back to her calm, though stern tone, and she continues as if nothing happened. 
I know you guys are frustrated with being locked up inside the house and having the cops around all the time, but now that Mike is here, the police will leave us alone. I have also asked him to escort each of you to your weekly club practice. Ooh, does it mean I can go to swimming practice again? Yes, honey. Really? Thanks, mom. You're the best. It's cops. Is there anything you would like to add, Victoria? Softly. No, mother. That's what I thought. Nevertheless, I'll see you downstairs later. What? But I... Do I make myself clear? Softly. Yes, mother. She seems to be very strict with her daughters. And what exactly is downstairs? That would be all girls. Off you go. As the girls leave the office, Rebecca re enters. Rebecca, please show Mike to his room and explain the details to his job. Yes, Miss Allen. Please follow me, sir. Okay, I actually want to see. Yeah, she blinks, man. Thank you. This will be your room. You are free to use any of the facilities, but only when Miss Kenny and the girls are not using them, of course. Sure, no problem. You are free to help yourself to breakfast, lunch, and dinner in the kitchen. Miss Kenny and the girls will have their dinner in the dining room and are not to be disturbed. What? I'm not ever allowed to join them for dinner? Why do I get the feeling that Manning doesn't want me to get to know my sister at all? Maybe she was just saying that so I would take the job. Please use the rest of the day to pick up your belongings and take care of any unfinished business you may have. Starting tomorrow, Miss Kenny expects you to be available whenever she calls. Understood. Your first payment will be transferred to you tomorrow. Kaching! I have sent Miss Kenny's and the girls' schedules to your phone. Make sure they arrive at their apartment on time and that you treat them with the utmost respect. Of course. She suddenly gets very fierce. No! Okay, that will not do. I beg your pardon. You should be grateful that Miss Ken would ever offer the likes of you an opportunity to work for this family. Hold on, what? The likes of me? What is this supposed to? She cuts you off again. So while you stay under their roof, you'll treat them with respect. Is it clear? During this, you may be present with multiple children to know how to respect. Okay. How should I respond? Look, I can see that you are very committed to this family and I can assure you that I am a professional. It's like it. She like that. I will make sure to always treat them with proper respect. We'll see about that. Okay, this girl is the love interest as well. Oh, I think I'm going to actually uh, end this episode here because this seems like a really, really big game. So make sure you guys actually do uh, give this game a try and also support the developer if you can. Because I'm pretty sure that they are going to actually. I actually forgot the what I was going to actually use. I'm sure that they are going to appreciate your support because they are doing a really good job with this game. I'll see you guys next time with something much more interesting to look at. Ta-da!